Welcome, Cancer, to your weekly love reading for July 9th to the 16th of 2018. All right, so let's look into one of one or two or more of you's uh, birthday uh, week. All right, so happy birthday if your birthday is this week. I wish you the best. All right, enjoy. Enjoy. So let's see. Energy for Cancer and Love for July 9th to the 16th. So you do have some rest and reflection. And when I was pre-shuffling, I felt like there were some energies of confusion for a lot of you. Um, assuming the worst, um, you might have felt like you've done the worst or someone has kind of um, did something to you that is not reconcilable. So you might feel be feeling very hurt or just uh, needing to kind of replenish your energy right now. So taking some time for you, for a lot of you, this is the theme for the week. So that means that you'll be doing a lot of it um, or trying to, to do your best. And it's almost like an advice card as well, but that's like your overall energy, all right? The person or energy coming towards you, they want to reach out to you, whether it's them face to face, you kind of um, being around them, you know, some of you could be on bed rest or whatever it might be. I feel like you either receive a message from your romantic partner, love interest, or even someone kind of messaging you on social media, trying to acknowledge you in some way to be around you. So someone wants to come around. If it's not a romantic partner, it could be family. It could be someone that does want to kind of console you to make sure that you're comfortable. All right. Now, it could be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Your response is to approach them delicately so you feel like that's how they may need to be or want to be treated all uh, right now it could be dealing with the leo that's showing up but i feel like this is the tender love care being compassionate about things that you've been through with a particular person and not uh getting defensive or just um going overboard about any kind of issues that you two have had so uh, the energy is kind of you know subtle you know so let's see your advice is another person coming through maybe a capricorn virgo or taurus but career focus on those things focus on a new business idea plans that you might have uh follow through with it kind of pull things together and um just uh, whoever this might be around you could be a particular person um a lot of person to be around you to give you some advice or just to uh enjoy your energy all right now the outcome another person people will definitely be around you this week and if these are not people these are energies that you're giving off or things that are kind of uh coming in so another or a water sign so a capricorn no <laughs> earth sign we already talked about that and pisces scorpio cancer but this is the energy of you resting uh reflecting on some things and any of you that might receive messages from a soulmate or someone that you're kind of growing to know or recognize that's your soulmate you could receive messages from that particular person and this tells you to trust your heart how you might be feeling and if you feel something is off something that's kind of shaky you know if you still need time to trust somebody allow that to happen so okay so let's see clarify the knight of cups for cancer hold on what about a knight of cups for cancer okay whoa okay whoa. all right well you know i don't want to do that okay it's so it's so many cards that came out i want to get a clear message for you all right what about a knight of cups for cancer okay that person wants to um either they want to just kind of say i'm sorry um maybe they want to speak to you just to let you know that they're still there they're not going anywhere just to kind of fess up to any things that have happened and even if they're around you they might just want to be around your energy right but might not communicate all that much whatever they might be saying it's not going to be harsh i don't feel so keep that in mind they don't want to get into conflict anymore they want to get away from that for sure um Clarify the uh, strength card for your response. Clarify the strength card for uh, cancer. Be optimistic, all right? And I was telling you how the energy seems really good. So it tells you, and the star keeps coming out for a lot of people. So I feel like this week might be some big changes, positive changes. Now, sometimes you might feel like, you know, you want what you want when you want it um, or a particular person, but things may not have been planned in that way. So whatever might be coming towards you, especially this energy, enjoy it because it may not have been there for some time so embrace this right now and try not to you know lose your cool um all right so let's see the uh let's see the uh, king of pentacles clarify that for cancer 
there may have been an ending with a uh, earth sign that you're still thinking about anybody all right um whoever you might be thinking about um, you want them to be around you but either two things they're not around because they're working and you want their attention they might be dealing with an ending of their own or the fact that you um are just embracing something and allowing it to be um faced you know this is just the end you did it's it's over kind of thing so um a lot of you are kind of going through that or feeling rejected or betrayed by somebody right now when it comes to communication and let's clarify the queen of cups So, in the meantime, that particular person, again, communication may not be all that much, alright? So, when that's the case, the universe has different ways to help you out, especially when it comes to you being with another person or when they want you to open up to somebody or be patient with somebody. That particular person may not be communicating with you, and that's why you might be resting because you're just letting it go. You don't feel like you need to, or some of you might be doing this as well, but I feel this is still having the love for somebody, but not talking to that person. And, and it's deep, all right? But pay attention to your dreams and signs that might come to you, okay? So let's see. Messages for Cancer and Love for July the 9th to the 16th. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and that's part of you resting on things that you might need to change. Whether it's how you treat yourself, what you tolerate, um, being strong and just trusting that you do deserve what you wish for. All right. Um, self-love. All right. So that's going to be a reading. I do hope that the messages help you out. Tons of love. Lots of light to you. Tons of healing vibes. I wish you the best. And you can always go to psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you. Have a good one.